It's just hard for me to tell you how proud I am of the football team right now. How proud I am of this football team. I'm so proud of you because you had to dig in. We had a rough week. We had a rough week. This was not an easy week around here for anybody. And everybody bared down, dug in. You followed what Father Jack said today at Mass. You know, we, had to, we had to lay claim on what we were saying we were going to lay claim on. It was time to man up. And you did. I hope the lesson we learned this week was how important it is to carry yourself like a man, to carry yourself like a BC man, and what that really means to this program. And be the best version of yourself. Be the best version of yourself, and don't cheapen that. I hope we got something out of that. And when you pull together and you dig mightily, what a great opportunity there is to win and beat a top 10 team in America like this on your home field, which is a major deal. This is a signature win, and it's a major deal for our program, the intensity and how hard you have to play to get that kind of win, and how it takes unselfishness and great team effort. And as Tyler said, you know, this can't define us. This is a tremendous launching point, but it can't define us. We've got a season ahead of us. What we know now is how we have to play to win every week. That's what we know. And we know that we're going to be the best version of ourselves tonight, tomorrow, and we're going to handle ourselves properly. The next game ball I want to give out is to some people that son, Wells Crowther, we celebrated this game because we celebrated Wells. And we celebrated him as a BC man. And we celebrated his selflessness and his ability to put other people ahead of himself. Service to others. It's what our university stands for. Someone who had an opportunity to do something for other people and he paid the ultimate sacrifice to do that. Nothing we can say, no game ball, is really anything that, that, can, that can mean much other than our gratitude and, and, and our appreciation for, for, for what Wells stood for. Because in our society today, we just don't have enough of this. We don't have this. We, we need to get more of this. We spend too much time hearing about garbage, not enough time hearing about real men. And I'm so thrilled to have you here with us today. And I want you to know on behalf of this football team that we're honored to honor Wells, and he'll always be <laughs> something so important to this university. This game ball is for you. play football now since 1995 when Wells came up to D.C. as a freshman. And we fell in love with the school, we fell in love with the team, we fell in love with the, the whole essence of what it means to be an athlete at Boston College. Wells played lacrosse. Uh, he took his bumps out on the field, too. You know, they were banging out there. And he got a stick he could whack guys with, you know? But he loved Boston College. He loved it so deeply. And for you guys to present this to us tonight is, is incredible. You know, when the ESPN video came out, it was in competition for an Emmy. And it won the sports Emmy. And we have an Emmy at home. It sits on the shelf. But I now have something that's far, far more valuable and far more important. To our family. You have honored us greatly, truly greatly. And, and, and just to stand here in front of you and look in your faces and see the, the determination that's there. It's, it's a, I mean, Wells played Pop Warner football. He was a great strong safety. He really was. <laughs> but he had to play older, lighter, because he was, he was small. He was, we called him part of the Mosquito Defense. <laughs> His team went undefeated and unscored upon. And in Pop Warner football, you know, once you've got 20 points on the other guys, you don't get the ball back. The other guys keep running the ball. And they take it back to their 40-yard line, to the 40 line, and then they keep going. And Wells, he, was, he could read an offense. And that's why he was good in ice hockey, too. He could see how the play was going. He 
he would intercept the pass, or he would snag the, the, the running back that was coming through with the ball, and he would seem to get his arm in there and knock the ball out. And you guys played like, like I, I was just so proud of you, man. so proud. And I know for my wife, Allison, it means so much for, to us. I mean, the just, courage and determination that you showed out there on the field, <coughs> and the teamwork that went on out there on the field was breathtaking. And we know that the odds were against you coming out here. We read all the stories, we heard all the news, and I said, yeah, but they haven't played the game yet. And this is great, what you produced tonight was terrific. I love these freaking shoes. <laughs> <laughs> Out the number nine team in the country. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Let's see that fight. Oh, yeah.